Hello guys, how are you doing? Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. Today, I am reviewing the Arena Imperator, which cost a regular price of $2,284,940, but you can get it for a trade price of $1,718,000 if you complete enough Arena events. The Imperator is one of the best vehicles I've used in the Arena Wars DLC. It comes with dual machine guns on the front, but they have no difference between each other, just get the cheaper one. I recommend the future version because it has better window protection, I'll get to that a little later. This vehicle has spikes as well, and spinning blades similar to the ZR380 on the left and right side as well as the back. The front comes with a scoop option or a mega blade option. I recommend mega blade as it will one hit kill any enemy. What's unique about this vehicle is it also has a mortar on the back but it's limited in the arena. The vehicle also comes with a boost, the ability to jump similar to other arena vehicles as well as being able to carry mines. In terms of speed, the Imperator is a decently fast vehicle, but it's not faster than a ZR380, which is the fastest vehicle in the Arena Wars DLC. And this is from my ZR380 review, but you guys can see right there the Imperator behind me. It's faster than a Dominator, but it's not faster than a ZR380. The ZR380 is much faster than it. And even in a second test, where here this clip is sped up to save time, the Imperator, it's going faster than the Dominator, it passes it, but the ZR380 eventually catches up to the Imperator and passes it. So while the Imperator is a decently fast vehicle. It's not faster than a ZR380, but it's definitely up there. It's one of the fastest vehicles in the Arena Wars DLC. In terms of weapons, the Imperator has a big Mega Blade option on the front, and this is the exact same that's in the ZR380, and this is really good. I recommend getting this one over to Scoop. If you touch any NPC or player with this, they will instantly die. And it also has two spinning blades on the left and the right side, but they're pretty small, and because the vehicle is uneven, it's not a complete flat surface, it's going to be difficult hitting anybody with those spinning blades on the right and the left side. You see here, I'm having trouble hitting my friend with it, but they do pose a risk to the driver and the passenger, because if your friend is trying to get in the vehicle, or somebody's trying to get in the vehicle with you, they they could accidentally walk into these blades and you could by accident kill them. They also pose a risk to the driver because these blades sometimes don't shut off and they're running even if you get out of it. The back blade is pretty good though. You can just back up into enemies or players and you'll one hit kill them with it. The machine guns on the front of this thing, they're spaced out which makes it a little difficult to hit targets. It's not as good as the ZR-380's machine guns, but it's much better than machine guns like in the slam van, the last vehicle I reviewed. Because the machine guns, they're closer together even though they're spaced out, and also they're, the hood of the vehicle, it's a lot shorter than a vehicle like the slam van. So if you're chasing like a vehicle, you should have no problem hitting them. You might have a problem hitting NPCs and players, but if you're chasing a vehicle, you should have no problem hitting them with this gun. The last weapon on this vehicle is the mortars that are found on the back. And the mortars, they are the exact same that you find on the Issy Classic, but this definitely gives it an advantage over the ZR380, its main rival, because the ZR380 does not carry mortars. And these mortars, you can blow up vehicles with them, but it'll take some time. These mortars are used mostly as stun vehicles. If there's a vehicle chasing you and you hit them with these mortars, it's going to make them crash. So don't expect to really blow people up. You can kill NPCs with them, but... In terms of vehicle damage, it's going to take a lot of mortars to destroy them. And in the arena, these mortars are limited, but in free mode, they appear to be unlimited. In a damage resistance test, what's really disappointing about this vehicle is it has no bulletproof windows. I still recommend you get the future variant though, because the future variant, the windows are a lot smaller, which makes your chances of getting shot a lot less likely, but they're not bulletproof. And the back, the back is very exposed, so you can get shot out the front. The side, it's a little difficult because the window is so small, but the back, it has no armor whatsoever, and this is a real big disappointment. You can get shot out the back easy. And in Explosive Resistance, the Imperator takes two RPGs, the exact same as its competitor, the ZR380. And finally, how does this vehicle handle in the arena? It actually handles really well in the arena. The Imperator is one of the best vehicles in the arena, in my opinion, and if you're an arena player, I definitely recommend adding it to your collection. The vehicle, it's not as good as the ZR380 in my opinion, because the ZR380, it's faster, it has better handling, but the Imperator, one of its advantages over the ZR is that it has rear mortars in the back. However though, these mortars, they're limited. You can only fire a few, and then afterwards you can't fire anymore. Though, it does have pretty good armor, I've sustained a lot of damage from people, and I've blown people up no problem. Even though the ZR380 has centered guns, this thing you should have no problem hitting people with it, because the guns, they're not too high like in other vehicles, so you'll have no problem blowing up other vehicles. The only vehicles you might have a problem blowing up are motorcycles. The guns will be pretty hard to hit them with. However, though, you can just smash into them with the Mega Blade. I've smashed into motorcycles before and blown them up with this thing. I've killed plenty of people in this vehicle. So if you're an arena player, I definitely recommend adding this vehicle. But if you want the absolute best, I would recommend getting the ZR first before getting this one. 
And here we come to the pros and the cons. And the pros are, it's decently fast. It's one of the fastest vehicles in the Arena Wars DLC. But remember, it's not faster than the ZR380, which is the fastest one. It has a Mega Blade option on the front, where if you touch somebody with it, they'll die instantly. It doesn't matter if it's a player or an NPC. It has spinning blades, similar to the ZR380, on the left and the right side, as well as in the back. And the back one's the best one. The left and the right side one, the ones that are near the doors, they pose a risk to the driver and the passenger because sometimes they won't shut off when the driver gets out. So the driver could accidentally get killed by them. Or even if you're picking up a passenger, they could accidentally get killed by them as well. So watch out for that. It has a mortar weapon. This is, you know, this is a good weapon for shaking off pursuers. It's good for getting people to stop chasing you in free mode. But again, remember, it's not really going to blow up a vehicle unless you fire a ton at it in the arena. It's also good at stopping pursuers, but... On the bad side is, it's limited in the arena. You fire a few shots and you can't use it anymore. And the last pro is, it's a great vehicle in the arena. If you're an arena player, you should definitely consider getting this vehicle. And the cons are, just like all other arena vehicles, very expensive. I don't think this is going to change. I still have two more vehicles to review, and I'm pretty sure they're going to be just as expensive. And this vehicle has no bulletproof windows. Kind of disappointing. Some of the arena vehicles have had bulletproof windows, but this one doesn't have bulletproof windows as well. But the future variant, the future variant does have better protection though. The windows are smaller than in the apocalyptic variant. So I personally recommend the future variant. And it cannot be used in heist. It's like all the arena vehicles, you can't use them in heist. Kind of disappointing there. The blades, they can kill you like I said earlier. The passenger, the driver walks by them, tries to get in the car. You could accidentally get killed by them. And the last con is you cannot use drive-by guns. You know, I didn't really cover this, but you can only use the machine gun and the mortar. You can't use drive-by weapons. That's really disappointing there. And the ZR380, you can use drive-by weapons. So that's definitely a plus for the ZR380 and a con for, for the Imperator here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. I have two more vehicles left to review. If you guys enjoyed this review, drop a like. If you're new to my channel and enjoy my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.